Okay, we're going to be servicing the one-way bearing once you get your clutch apart. Normally you'd be, if you're just going in to service the bearing, you're not going to pull the inner half of the primary off. But mine's already off and this bearing needs service, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, first thing you want to do is take a rag and wrap it around the one way. There's two spring cups and two springs in there that will launch if you just jerk this thing off. So you want to make sure that you catch them when it comes off. There's a nice little pop. You can hear them when they pop loose. And once they pop, there's no more spring tension on them, but they will still roll out. So we're going to gather these up. Put that right there. Go ahead and slide this the rest of the way off. The other cup, the other spring. You can see the one way. This one here's got about 2,700 miles on it. It has little to no grease, if any, still in it. So what we're gonna do, the factory bearings are only sealed on one side, which you'll be able to see once I get this part. There's a little circle wire clip that holds the inner bearing in. We'll set that off, slide that out. They're only sealed on one side. These bearings here are double sealed. They come from UATV Tech, a lot better. These here are almost froze, free spin. So what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna put these bearings back in I'm just going to re-grease these for those that aren't replacing their bearings and just want to do the service. You just got to make sure this bearing comes out on the opposite side, but there's nothing that holds it in. It's just pressed in. So we're going to take and use a punch. We're going to tap it and come out a little bit, so we're going to move over to the other side. A little bit more, switch back. After a couple hits, it'll pop right out. This bearings actually feels like it's got dirt in it. So, on a normal day, I would throw this bearing away just by the way it feels with the grit. But for the video, we're going to go ahead and grease it. I'm going to pack this the same way I would any other bearing. Just to make sure that I can get all that I can get in there. Take little bites at a time. Turn it, do it again. Now take and roll it, see if it gets any better. It's freeing up a little bit. Ahead and do the other one too. The seals really need to be out of both sides when you do this. But if you pop that seal out, more than likely you're going to junk it. So, this is really the only thing you can do is put it back in there. Whether it's actually going all the way around to the other side, the only way you'd be able to tell is to take the bearing out. That's why I just assume taking uh, throw them away and replace them. And what we're going to do, we're going to put the outer bearing back in the outside. They will shove in by hand most of the way if you get them sideways just a little bit. 
have to tap them the rest of the way in. The end's beveled just a little bit, and I think it's got pressure because once it gets way down in there, it'll just fall in. And we're going to put this one back in. Put her clip in. Make sure it's seated. Then you got all kinds of grease. Just take a put a little bit, film everything, make sure it's good and greasy on the inside. And you're gonna take and put a little bit of grease on your springs and cups. Well, I've got grease everywhere. So at this point. We need to clean this a little bit, get the excess grease, because you don't want this grease coming up out. You don't want the grease coming up out of there and getting on the belt. And after we install it, we're going to use the alcohol pad to clean all the grease off the outside to make sure it's all off. Clean the spring cups up real good. Clean the springs. If you want, you can take, put a thin layer of grease. I mean, just minimal grease, just enough to make it slick where the one way rides. After you get your cups clean, them springs back in. You'll have to hold them because if you don't hold them they won't stay. You should be able to put the spring in. The spring will sit there if you don't have too much grease on your hand. Put the cup over the spring. Push it in. Hold those in. However you can do it, hold those in. Do not let your fingers fly off of them. Then ease the one way back down until it pops. You can see it's ratcheting out, so everything's good. A lot better than it was. Bearings are still bad, so they won't be reused. But now you got the idea anyway. <laughs> 